Hey y'all, so two days ago I received this comment and for some reason it was not in my comments on my YouTube studio side. I actually saw this comment in TubeBuddy. So I want to do a quick tutorial for everybody. So this is my normal interface. When I am on Second Life, this is like pretty much what it looks like. If you left click, if you're using a mouse and you left click, you have all of these different options that you can check and uncheck and it'll add a lot of things back up here. You cannot see my cursor. I use the GeForce Experience and with the GeForce Experience, they do have a program that you can download that is free that will hide your cursor. They also have another program that you can install that will have your cursor reappear. So I see my cursor, but you guys don't see my cursor. So this comment wanted to know like a couple tips and tricks that I use when I am recording. So first things first, what I do like to do is I like to go into this camera setting. And this is something that I learned when I was watching Strawberry Sing, one of her videos. So under cam smoothing, I like to set my cam smoothing at either like 14 or 13, something like that. I like my zoom speed to be at either like a 1.3 or 1.7. And I pretty much just leave everything alone. So after I do that, I'll normally just leave this screen up here and then I'll do control. I'll hold down the control alt and then F1, I guess it might be shift F1 or function, the function key plus F1, you hold all three of those down together and it gets rid of all of the Firestorm interfaces. To get rid of your hoods, you're going to hold down the shift key, hold down the alt key, and then you're going to click H and that's going to clear up your whole entire screen for you. So when it comes to panning right now, I'm in front view, which is fine. So if I want to pan like left to right i hold down the alt key and then i'll use the left or right mouse keys to pan left or right when i'm holding down the alt key and i do the up and down buttons this is what it do so if i hold down the alt key it'll have me zone in zoom in um, hold down the alt key and hit the down arrow it'll have me zoom out now if i hold down the alt key and the control key when i click the left and right buttons it'll also have me go left and right but then it'll also let me pan up and down so instead of when you just hold the alt key it has you zoom in and out if you hold down the alt and control key it'll let you pan up and down now if you hold down the control key the alt key and the shift key It'll let you go up and down with the up and down arrows and it'll let you go left and right with the left and right arrows. Now I haven't really figured out a way to kind of have this type of movement when I'm going left to right. I'm sure there is a way, but I just, I don't know yet. If I want to pan in on something, I hold down my alt key and then I'll click whatever it is that I want to pan in on. So for this instance, we'll do like the matcha. I hold down the alt key, I click it, and then it'll let me zoom in on it um, pretty closely, if I might say so myself. Another cool feature is if you want to kind of like have your screen freeze and then you walk while the screen is still frozen. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your alt key and you're going to click on any object, anything other than yourself where you want the camera to freeze. You don't have to hold down anything while you're doing this except the up arrow key. So you can click the up arrow key. It will have you walk forward. The down arrow key will have you walk backwards. The left and right arrow keys will rotate your avatar in the direction that you want to go. So if you do the, um, what is it? The left arrow key then it's going to put your avatar in that direction. The right arrow key will put your avatar in that direction. And then that will be the way that you can walk um, left to right. Now, in order for this feature to work, you want to make sure that you are in preferences and on the move and view under view, you want to make sure that reset camera position on avatar movement is unchecked. If this is checked, it is not going to work. So again, you want to make sure in your preferences under move and view under the view tab, you have a reset camera position on avatar movement is unchecked. You're going to go ahead and click OK. And then another thing really quickly, in order to get these 
buttons on the side of the screen you can click on any one of the buttons and you want to well not click the buttons but you want to hover over the button and then you want to right click and then it'll give you a drop down menu you can go to toolbar buttons and then it'll show you all of the different toolbars that you can add to the sides in order to add them you're going to left click on the button that you want hold it down and you're going to drag it the light blue lets you know where you can put it so you can either put it here or you can put them down there that's just a little some extra and if you don't want the gesture you can hover over it right click and then you can choose the remove button option so you guys these are all the things that i simultaneously do while i am touring with you guys so i really hope that this helped and i'll see you guys tomorrow